Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Welcome back everyone. It's been a few days. Today we are going to review Stan Mark II. Uh, this is a remake from uh, compared to old version because today I'm I'm going to explain in more detail and with commentary so with voices so I hope it can help you understand how this stand mark 2 works in this 3d simulation it's not 100% accurate to realistic version a real version this is a video game after all so let's begin Okay, first is uh, we're going to check uh, uh, click and hide first and uh, slow 50. Okay, now we fire it first and we see. Let's fire in first round and that's it because we have. Uh, fire selector okay so let's remove trigger mechanism cover and we remove frame okay as you can see here this is the ejector the ejector is uh, with the frame so when we remove the frame to see what what's inside this ejector will be disappear Okay, so let's fire it first in single. Okay, firing. Press the trigger. Okay, so trigger, and this trigger is uh, going to like the trigger is connected to trip lever. This trip lever will pushing this sear. So coming back. Okay, so when you trigger you. You pull, uh, you pull the trigger. Trip lever will move, uh, push, will push forward, and disengage sear from the ball. Okay, so when you push the trigger, the trigger like this, the ball move, pushing the round, firing. The system cycle back. The ball is uh, moving back and uh, sear catching catching the bolt again okay so like that so let's see it again so push the trigger uh, tripping lever pushing the sear sear disconnected from the bolt bolt go forward pushing the round firing and this is the the, the mechanism cycle again cycle back okay hold okay so like that. as you can see here this is a fault animation here like see the fault animation here so yeah that's a single fire now let's see full auto in full auto what happened Okay, in full auto, in full auto, okay, in full auto, tripping lever is pushed by the selector into this side of the ball, so it will not touch this part of the ball. This part allow the stand to fire in single fire, but if there is no part like this the stand will fire in full auto okay so let's fire it firing okay so, so as you can see here bolt and the tripping lever did not touch at all okay okay I'm, I'm pressing it once if I hold it the tripping lever and bolt will never touch so let's try it again 
first round second round okay third round okay so nothing happened there because the ball did not reset the tripping left so in in single fire the tripping lever is uh, touching the ball so okay sorry what the hell okay okay wait let's re repeat it again okay so in single fire and uh, full auto it's uh, the difference was in the ball this part of the ball so firing in single fire see the bolt is pushing down the trip lever so okay. so the bolt is pushing down the trip uh, pushing down the bolt is pushing down the trip lever to reset the sear okay so that's it that's single fire now people asking me in the old video that how like the ejection work okay so the ejection work like this this is the okay this is the which part is it okay this is this is the ejector uh, pin or something uh, the ejector pin not the pin ejector part because it's not pin it was so they basically they they are uh, welding it into the inside of the tubes of the stand mark two okay so they they probably well that there's no i think in this model there's no uh, like screw or bolt or anything it's just into the frame so it's cheaper probably to be welded because this is a uh, cheap uh, firearms for uh, war effort so they didn't want it to be expensive now reloading okay reloading here no i'm firing why am i okay. okay reloading in reloading you push you push in this magazine catch down pushing it down so it can be released so the magazine can be released keep pushing it down there's a cutout over here in the magazine so you can see it see that cutout okay let's, let's hold the magazine I I think uh, from Ian McCullen video the magazine is uh, bad stand it's cheap to manufacture so the quality is maybe not very good okay so change it to a pistol grip how you remove it okay to change the pist the pistol grip the button here was fresh was press okay button here is pushing the butt so it can hold tightly into the frame so we press this return spring the return spring to ease the tension between the butt and the frame so you can remove the butt and putting in the grip like that and then release the button return spring housing button and it it's done okay it's for changing changing the butt stock into a grip okay now how about safety it's a uh, wartime weapons uh, safety is just hold the bolt into the frame like into position so you're pushing the handle okay, bolt handle and uh, put it right here that's it that's safety yeah 
maybe not the best safe thing. It's again war time. Okay, so safety off. Okay, and uh, firing. Maybe, maybe in normal speed. Single fire. Full auto. Full auto. Full auto. Okay, now uh, silencer. I don't know why they use silencer. It's uh, like open ball. You can still hear the sound from here, right? And then it's full metal. It's metal clanging everywhere. I don't know why. Okay. It's firing. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe let's check the x ray. So this is an extractor here to extract the bullets out. Now like this, like that. Okay, X-ray four. The cutout. Let's see cutout. Cutout is very simple. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So that's it. That's it. We run. And uh, yeah, that's it, I think. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.